U.S. Natural Foods Marketplace. We're a marketplace of local food makers that you can shop across the U.S. Just download on iTunes. Today we're featuring common organic cold pressed olive oil and Brooklyn whatever jalapenos jam and apple butter for our latkes. To get these latkes going, we're first going to make matzo cracker from scratch. That's going to be what we use instead of flour in this recipe. So we're pretty excited about it. If you're ready, let's dive in. So you might ask, why are we making matzo for these latkes? Well, it adds a slightly different flavor dimension than if you were to just use flour. And it's something that we like to do is to try things that are slightly different to see what kind of flavor we can get. So we have our olive oil, we have a quarter cup of water, and we're adding a little bit of salt here too. And then we're going to just mix all of that together and form a dough. So once you have a dough, you can keep adding a little bit more water until you can get it to glue all together. Turn it out on the table and roll it up. So to this recipe, we're adding some fresh rosemary, still growing pretty strong out there, even though it's pretty cold outside. It's going to add a different dimension to these latkes, something we've never tried before, but it really is fun to take an attempt to get some kind of flavor that's different from what you've had before and elevates the food. So now that we have everything sort of blended together, we have a little bit of warm water here and we're gonna form this into a dough ball. This is the first time making crackers and it's a good start to start with a matzo cracker or what's known as unleavened bread. So it doesn't rise, but it's a great flat bread. And it's um, a good complement to food to have around the house. It's pretty simple. There's not a lot in it. So especially when you're making it yourself, you know exactly what's in it. And that kind of brings more health power. Okay. So there's our pieces. And we're gonna just basically roll each one out. It doesn't matter how perfect the cracker is, since it's actually going to be put into a processor and blended into a fine, to find pieces. And it's holding together pretty well. So if you're making actual crackers, you're gonna trim off the edges and then you can roll that out into another cracker. Uh, this is going to go on a baking sheet after we poke some holes in it with a fork. So, this is exciting. I have never made a cracker. So there is that. And if you wanna brush it with a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle it with salt, that is up to you. Since this is again gonna go in our, uh, into our latkes after we put it through a processor, keeping it pretty simple. Next up here, we have a bit of grating to do. We're going to roughly grate two medium-sized potatoes. And we're actually also going to grate one zucchini, medium-sized medium or small, because we're going to make zucchini and potato latkes. And so you also want to grate your onion or shallot and mix all of that together, you can create two bowls. So one is just potato and shallot, and one is zucchini and potato and shallot. And so you know which is which. And then mix it all together. Starting with our egg, we get that whisked together a bit. We're gonna add our crumbled matzo that we just made from scratch. I'm gonna add a couple twists of pepper. And we're gonna add a little bit more salt. There's salt in the cracker, but uh, this is just enough to complete the whole thing. So mix that all together. You can see that we dried out the zucchini and the potato really well, and it's a pretty dry mix right now. So we're gonna just combine everything really well smells amazing. I tasted the matzo cracker and it was so good. Fresh food just makes a hundred times difference. So this looks fantastic. We've got our egg, salt, pepper, the matzo, and our vegetables. You're basically ready to go. So this is how you turn out a latke. We're gonna turn these into little pancakes and 
complete this recipe. Looks like our pan is about ready. So we're going to scoop out some of the waka mixture, make a small pancake and drop it in. So you're gonna have uh, about three minutes, three to four minutes on each side. It's gonna get it nice and brown and have a tray lined with a towel uh, to capture a little bit of the oil ready. So once these are done, you can transfer them to the tray and let them drain a little bit. It forms a patty. The thing I love most about latkes is the toppings. This apple butter is outstanding. It's from Brooklyn Whatever. Simple, pure ingredients. A little cinnamon, apple. The jalapeno jam is the same, just really pure ingredients. And this one's got a nice kick along with the hot pepper jam, both from Brooklyn Whatever. And this takes this savory treat to another level, adding that little sweetness and spice on top and is going to delight a crowd and for sure is going to make this whole project worthwhile. So try it out and enjoy all the different flavors. Mm, it's so refreshing to drink while you're cooking. This actually is Zumo. They're also on Treat Mouth. It's got 78 trace minerals from Mediterranean seawater that they make this lemonade from. And it's not from concentrate. It's non-GMO. It's gluten-free. It has no preservatives and it's fantastic. It's so refreshing. So check these guys out on Treatmo app and you're going to be wowed by all the different flavors that they offer. So here are our latkes. They turned out fantastic. Watch the sizzle, three to four minutes on each side. Might have overcooked it just a tad, but you're gonna be okay. It's a great recipe, very simple and a lot of fun to make. So making that matzo from scratch actually with the rosemary, you can taste those little hints of rosemary in these. And for me, it's really exciting because I haven't tried that before. It has a different dimension to these latkes that I've made so many, many times before. So check it out. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you next time.